Finally, what is civilization coming to? France may be the land of 1,000 cheeses, but the dairy industry's chagrin to announce that on this side of the Alps, more consumers in September bought mozzarella from Italy than good old smelly camembert from Normandy. Est-ce que vous êtes plutôt mozzarella ou camembert Mozzarella, définitivement. Euh, mozzarella. Camembert. Plutôt mozzarella en salade et plutôt camembert à tartiner. Le camembert, moi, je le prends à la fin du repas. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, Antonio Di Bella, uh, what's, what's going on here? Why are we being polluted by mozzarella? Polluted? <laughs> it's a wrong word. I mean, civilized. <laughs> no, I, I could, I could uh, be proud of mozzarella, but I, I want to confuse you to my friend, because I think this is a, another effect of the lockdown, of the uh, restaurant closed for COVID. You eat more uh, camembert at the end of a nice lunch or dinner in a restaurant. And since uh, uh, the, most, of, most of the restaurants were closed, I think this is the reason why camembert went down and mozzarella used more home when you cook home and you buy in the supermarket went up. I, I can foresee uh, coming back of the camembert with the opening of the restaurant and uh, this uh, at least to be even. I prefer in any case uh, eat uh, mozzarella home and some camembert when they go in a nice French restaurant even here in New York. Well, your optimism uh, may be overinflated because uh, uh, the the amounts of camembert being consumed in France have been going down by 3% a year uh, steadily. I guess people are moving away from fattier cheeses. Uh, but it's also a tale of globalization, Bilal Tarabai. People um, are... You know what, when you... When you talk to me about, uh, about this very topic, I realized that I myself was buying mozzarella more frequently than camembert. Uh -huh. So right when we finish, I will go buy myself a nice, softy, smelly camembert because I miss it. But to, uh, to come back to your point, I guess so. Are, are we... I guess that mozzarella is perceived as a more uh, healthy, non-smelly, less fatty kind of cheese and easier to not to cook, but to, to put on as salads and all. So it's more, let's say, handy for a busy, busy people, busy society. Sophia Mara, are we more and more in the future just going to basically eat the same stuff all around the world? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I mean, mozzarella is an easier product to to use and to uh, in your cooking, in your kitchen, in this busy society, as Bilal said. And in Lebanon, we had both. We still have both, you know, mozzarella and but camembert. In, in Christmas in Lebanon, I, last Christmas, it was really a sad uh, uh, um, scene in, in all the, the, you know, the big supermarkets. You used to see all kind of camembert because the Lebanese are very keen on French and not Italian, French cheeses. And and you could see that, you know, last year, because it has become a luxury good, you couldn't find any. I mean, you had to call friends and have them deliver when they come to Beirut to spend Christmas to bring cheese with them, because this is part of the stuff that Lebanese cannot afford anymore, because to buy one camembert, they need to pay half of their uh, salary. And that was really sad last Christmas. And I think this Christmas is just going to be just the same. And maybe even worse, and they can't even afford, you know, Lebanese cheese, which is, you know, a catastrophe for them. Oh, you're the second panelist to, to broach uh, worries over Christmas. Uh, uh, Nico Hines, uh, of course, with the Camembert uh, in Britain, they only want the one with the raw milk, right? I, do you know what? As a British person, I don't even know what you're talking about. Um, I think what I would say on this um, is that... Uh, is that, look, as a nation that hasn't always been famed for its food, um, we have grown healthier and we have become more tolerant and um, global-looking by welcoming in foods from all over the world. So I feel like, you know, the French shouldn't worry about it and, like, let's relax and let's share each other's... Um, the highlights from each other's world.